Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Omega Seamaster Railmaster in stainless steel. You can see and you can purchase this 2017 Vintage Tribute timepiece on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch, with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Omega Seamaster Railmaster. Now just to clarify, this is not part of the 60th anniversary trilogy that bowed in 2017. This is a standalone model and there is a silver dial equivalent of it in the catalog that pays homage to a broad range of vintage Omega timepieces from the 1950s and the 60s. Now on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist, the watch wears compact. It's a versatile size, 40 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the retro style conical crown. The watch is also reasonably slim at 12.7 millimeters. With a generously sloped conical bezel, you can wear this one as a dress watch if you please. It will easily slide underneath the dress cuff. Now you can see from lug to lug, the watch is compact 46.8 millimeters across the wrist. You can see how the bracelet actually flares out on both sides, such that I can easily foresee someone with a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters in circumference wearing this watch with a handsome proportion and style. And with the 20 millimeter lug spacing, you can easily throw this one on a standard strap if you, sh you should prefer that aesthetic and those ergonomics. Now the watch is hefty, not overbearing in its weight, but because of the solid case back, it has a little bit more heft. Also, Omega's latest generations of stainless steel clasps really are quite substantial. The links are sturdy. All sizing is done by screws, not pins and sleeves. You can see that the watch is rather discreet and subdued with all satin finish on bezel, on case, on links, on lugs. And of course on the underside you can see this is a highly aerated bracelet so it's an easy one to wear on hot days. It lets the wrist breathe. Those broad channels between the links also avoid the pinching of skin and pulling of hair. The clasp Likewise, substantial, milled out, double deployant, excellent ergonomics for a small wrist. You can see that the clasp body itself has a curve to trace the arc of the underside of your wrist for comfort. It's also a twin trigger system, so you'll note lower in profile than most diving style clasps. It's also secure by virtue of the fact that you must depress both triggers to open it. Not friction fit and not a cheap clamshell. This is the way I like to see it. Now this is an entry level sports watch in the Seamaster line, but it has a number of deluxe features starting with that substantial bracelet and clasp and continuing into the dial. Now the case is fairly simple as you can see it is symmetrical with beveled lugs all of satin grained finish and a small narrow conical style sloped bezel. The dial however is quite rich as you can see it features a number of styling elements that recall a broad range of watches some of which aren't necessarily Omega but let's start with the basics. The, the indices are reminiscent of the original CK2914 for Railmaster, while other elements of the dial, specifically the crosshairs layout, pay homage to timepieces principally built during the 1960s era of Omega watch design. You have tri Arabics, which, regardless of the references to Omega's own history will always be evocative of Rolex's Explorer family. And you might even say, again, the crosshairs, though historically relevant to Omega, are also a bit evocative of Chagher LeCoultre's Geophysic. Now the watch is in good company in that regard as it's a handsome dial with a anthracite vertical satin grain so it's brushed from top to bottom. It also features a patina style coloration to the luminescence. It is fully luminescent though it has the look of faded radium. Nevertheless this is super luminova. It has a notable loft to it as you can see the loom is layered on thick almost like a Panerai with an applied or sausage style dial. They, they have height above the dial base and there's a railroad style minutes and seconds track outboard swept by a vintage lollipop style seconds hand, another reference to Omega Zone history. Now you can see the watch features a crown that's a little bit different. It is a screw down, but you'll note that it has a sort of inverted conical profile so it actually narrows as it moves closer to the case. A screw down crown used to manipulate the 
master chronometer caliber 8806 so you can see pull the crown out once you thread it out and you can stop the balance hold the seconds hand for synchronization let's talk a bit about what is underneath the case back it's a naiad style case back the naiad lock ensuring that every time it's screwed in it aligns perfectly top to bottom so you'll never see the hippocampus and the rail master script sideways for example so this is a free sprung full balance bridge for robust shock resistance it features an si14 silicon hairspring that endows the watch with essentially amagnetic qualities. It's resistant to more than 15,000 gauss. 55 hour power reserve. The timepiece is a master chronometer. This is the new METAS standard pioneered between Omega and the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology. It meets all of the COSC standards for a chronometer and for COSC certified precision. But METAS is a test that goes beyond evaluation of a bare movement to evaluation of the entire assembled watch for power reserve, winding efficiency, chronometric precision, anti-magnetism, water resistance. It's a more comprehensive test of your watch rather than a simple timing test of the bare mechanism within. A handsome timepiece, it nevertheless Though simple on the outside, contains high technology on the inside as the latest tri-level evolution of the original George Daniels coaxial alternative escapement makes this the most precise and one of the lowest maintenance timepieces to feature that mechanism, finally realizing the ultimate advantages that Daniels first theorized in the 80s and 90s of longer term timing stability, short term timing precision, and reduced maintenance needs. This is a watch that puts it all together. Vintage style, modern technology, luxury levels of fit and finish, and with 150 meter water resistance, this one's ready for any adventure that you are. See it and own it on our website.